Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here as we are experiencing the German Empire almost, almost in its full extent. And I say that because this isn't exactly the same German Empire that we left off last time. In the previous episode, we left off in 1872. It's been five years. I've cut down the infamy by quite a bit. And to make sure that we didn't go to war with literally the entire world, because I did try that off screen, Germany, the German Empire literally against everyone in the world, which didn't end, up, end so well for us. So, what I've done... I've liberated all of our colonies that we can, for the most part, and liberated a few places that I thought were choice pieces of land that we didn't care about, care about too much, and that still would be under us. For example, like Lombardy here. Italians are probably going to demand Lombardy eventually, but with the plans I've got for this campaign now, it doesn't matter. It really won't matter. Uh, same thing with Bukovina. I mean, we didn't even have Moldavia all under us, so I they still have... Okay, Romania. Anyways, um... Like, I figured, we're not going to have this anyways eventually. Like, yeah, we have Moldavia. We can fight one war for it. But if they ask for Moldavia back, for the Romanians, I mean, if they ask for it back and we give it to them, we can still go to war with them and still take all of Moldavia back again. So, yes, there are a few Germans here that we can't get, whatever. Other than that, we still kept Krakow. I still kept Croatia. I, like I said, I liberated most of our African colonies, including Benin, Awori, Calabar, Oyo, Dahomey. I know we got those guys earlier, and I wanted to keep them, but... I had to limit infamy. Um, actually, we still kept this part of Vietnam because we couldn't release it. And I did liberate both of these, uh, Kutain Saba as well as Sulu Saba. And actually, before I liberated Sulu or Api here, I actually made it a state first. <laughs> and then I liberated it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I'll be honest, I know I'm disappointing some of you guys, and which we could have done the campaign, infamy is but a number. But in 1877, I just don't have the tech or the population yet to fight Russia, France, Italy, the UK, America, Spain, and the Ottoman Empire at the exact same time. Just not there yet, so... Also, we did keep Uruguay, so I wanted to make sure we kept Uruguay, because this is like our South American vacation home, like... Bro, like, this would be really cool. There's a lot of Brazilians here. Huh. We got quite a few South Germans, some Hungarians. Hey, yes, the Hungarians are assimilating North German. That's exactly what we want to see there. But, like, I wanted to keep that one, definitely. I mean, Lombardy... It is what it is. The Italians don't like us anyways. I wanted to liberate Venice too, but actually Venice would have gotten like all the Adriatic coastline. So I'm like, nah. So I do apologize for that. But that being said, we still get kept, no, the Adines from the war we had with uh, the French earlier. But, so, we're the German Empire. I'm going to still try to keep it under 25 infamy. I'm not going to liberate, uh, or, you know, liberate or lower infamy by liberating other things or people. However, because of that, whenever I do my Prussia to Super Germany campaign for real... Like, actually become the German Empire through Prussia. And for me, it will eventually just become a number. I can promise you that. I'm going to need, to, I'm going to need some serious practice at that. But for that campaign, someday in the future when I do it again, I promise you, we'll do infamies but a number and I will just go to town on everybody. But for this one, from starting to Austria to go to the German Empire, uh, I think we're going to still keep it under 25 infamy. But, that doesn't mean we're not going to go to war with anybody. Because... I literally have a war justification for Belgium right now, and we're going to wipe the floor with Belgium. Hopefully, as you can see, i got all my armies here. I'm still making more stacks of armies in Vienna. Also, we kept Vienna as a capital because that only makes sense. Before we begin, though, I do want to show you the population. 430 people have left our country for other for, uh, countries, I guess. Uh, a total population, roughly about, what is that, 30... Oh, man, math is so hard in my head right now. 30%. Over half of our population is German. That's pretty good, I'd say. Over half. 8% are Hungarian, 7.5% Polish, 6.2% Czech. Now, the percentage that is German, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's going to go way down. <laughs> it's going to go way, way down. Because I, I, cause we can puppet things, but I'm not going to puppet things. No, no, no. We're going to eat. We're going to eat a lot. Because after this war with France, actually, I, I'm going to war with Belgium, who's allied to the French. After this war with France, I'm probably going to go to Italy. I'm just going to start smacking them down. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and take uh, Emilia Romagna. Like, we're going to go eat pieces of land all around us. We're going to go to Denmark eventually, and the Russian Empire, Ottoman Empire, Romania. Like, we're, we're getting hungry, and I'm ready to go to war, so let's go to war. I've been I've been playing this for like half an hour off screen. Actually, more like an hour and a half, actually, off screen, because I tried different things out, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Who are we allied with? Switzerland, which they will not accept the justification. Neither will America or Greece. Losers those people are. We're going in. Belgium is rightful German clay. 100%. Liège, please thank you. Um, von Kaprotten, thank you. Namur, um, let's go. Let's... Oh, these guys have not been called in yet. And the French have been called in, maybe? Come. Yes, they have been. 
And USA has failed to come in. So be it. We're going in. We are not going to leave any... I'm going to... If we can, it's going to be difficult. But we're going to try to full siege down France. I want the French wipe with... Because honestly, off screen, like I tried doing... Um, you know, holding out against these guys. Or, you know, trying to hold out against basically the entire world. Didn't work out so well, so... I want my revenge. Now, you haven't seen what I tried to do off screen, but, like... It's really difficult in 1877. Holy crap. Um, we're taking them all out. Go as fast as you can. Speed is the game. As I'm making more divisions... Uh, we got a lot of artillery here. Uh, is there a split in half? S. Ah, yes. That's D for ships and Hoi 4 naval stuff. Yeah. Ah, I should have looked at who was a general. Oh... Plus, your attack is not too bad. Plus three defense. Oh, they just got they just got a really good general too. All right, very nice. We lost a lot of guys. That's okay. Uh, where are they headed to? I want to avoid where they're headed to. Do we kill them all off? Ah, ah, they don't have that much organization going. Oh, you caught me off guard. Who is this? Should we go to Japan? Sure. Japan, would you like to come in the war? Yes, they would. Hello. Would you like to die now? Uh, they have like no organization. We should be able to get them very quickly then. Uh, very good, very good. We still have a lot of Belgians down here. That's fine, whatever. Belgium love. Lots of Belgium love. Screw the French, man. Ah, set up, up orders. Also, right now, I've been trying to go with as much military technology as possible. Up uh, next, we'll probably get revolution, counter-revolution. We're going to get even more industry, because as Germany, we should have max out infra uh, industry, but, you know, whatever. We'll get there eventually. Uh, we're winning, winning, winning. That's good. Um, just in case, head up here, too. Uh, not we for five thousand Germans we killed off forty thousand Belgians, for twenty seven hundred Germans we killed off thirty six hundred Frenchmen thirty six thousand I mean, for sixteen thousand Germans we just lost we lost too many compared to the sixty three hundred right there so, um head on up here if you can over here that's not great, that's good though come down here help them out, I'm gonna burn Paris to the ground one hundred percent burn it, ah good, technology's done let's come back over here and do machine guns or see yeah let's get some more. Artillery support, why not? Alright. Both of you guys get over here. Where are you going, French boys? Where are you going? Go I'm gonna go Paris. Um let's see, what's next? UK? No, no, I'm gonna kill off the UK. That's one of my goals by the end of this campaign. Okay, so nice. That was a really good casualty ratio. We lost a lot of guys for nobody. Okay then. Hmm. We want Valonia, so you guys go there. You guys have been hit really hard, which is unfortunate. You guys have any infantry yet? No. You guys have some, but you're not really ready yet. Ah, uh, good. Ah, yes! 12,000... 12,500 Germans for 29,000 uh, French folk. Good. Uh, they're heading to Macon. Uh, ho who's good? Valonia is a 1 plus 1 plus 1. Uh, we'll send you first. Give them one day, and then everyone goes over there. Italy, sure. I'm not sure why you want to go to war. Or, or, are, you guys, are they doing anything? Ah, they went to war as well. Good, 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 good. Now we know war goes against them. Um, they went next. Okay, well, hey, look. This is their call to make. Oh, that's not good. Let's head out of here first. Nice. Wow, we lost a lot of guys in that war. That's okay, though. We cut off double the French, so. Arlon, not a great battle, but hey, it's still a battle nonetheless. Uh, where, are we, where are they headed to? Amiens? Nope. You find French soldiers, you kill every last one of them. Ah, 70,000 Belgians have died. As it should be. 3,000 more have died. Very good, very good. 12,000 more have died. You do not let up. Lyon? Um, Laon. Laon, there you go. And we're going to need some more money, too, so... Uh, we'll have to fix up our economy later on. That's fine. Ah, good. Good. Split you in half. I want you to go up there. Unfeb. Oh. Um, go here first. Who's the best general? Blois. Three, two, one. You're going in first. Send them all in. And, of course, attacking is not a really great idea, but... It's better to attack now than attack during the Great War. I'll let them sort that stuff out. I don't care. Alright, not bad. We still have 21 infamy, basically. Um, we're still sec first, we're second world power just because the Brits are 
their industry is too high. Eventually, though, their industry is going to drop like crazy. Uh, just because someday they will. Not yet. Not any day soon, but someday. I'm trying to build up more infantry, too. We just need more infantry. And our literacy is at 80% of the entire population, which I think is great. No, they don't deserve life. No, no, no. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Come over here. Uh, finish off that place first. Oh, that's good. That's good. Keep an eye on all this stuff. They, still have... they mobilize. They definitely mobilize. Yeah, that's a mistake. But you should not have aided the Belgians. You should have not have aided the Belgians. Where are they headed to? Are they on? Nope. All in? Oh, we got reinforced too? Oh, that's nice. Goodbye. Mm, still looking okay. 15,000 for 40,000 some. Not bad, not bad. They headed to Moulin? No. Not today. No, no, no. Mekong? Tax efficiency, thank you. I need to lower tariffs and lower taxes as well eventually, so that'd be a good thing to get done. Ah, very good. Ah, France, no! You go screw yourself. I'm gonna burn it to the ground because of what you did to me off screen. <laughs> uh, that sounds kind of nasty if you really think about it, but don't worry about that. Uh, we do some comments to go through as well, because I'm, I'll be honest, Victor Victoria 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm really enjoying this. I have a problem. Then again, I play so much Paradox games on this channel. I probably really do have a problem. Then again, I do make a few dollars from itself. So. Hey, but if you're still watching, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Ah, uh, that's not bad. They still lost more than us, even though we're on attack. Auxerre? I don't know how to pronounce that. Ah, yes. Death stack it. I, I don't care. Uh, oh! Yeah. Um, sure, guys. Alright. Uh, also, what other decisions do we have here? We have discriminatory school systems. <laughs> Discrimination, eh, whatever. We could send the Geneva Convention, search for the Aegean Civilizations. We actually might want to do that one, Social Sciences. International African uh, Association, Montenegrin Borders. Uh, I might just go kill them. Yeah, we're probably going to kill them. You know, I've never done this one. I want to do that one, maybe. Uh, established Protectorate of, over Sulu. Not a bad idea. German into China, organize this stuff. Friedrich Krupp Germania Weft. That seems like a good thing to have. Until the end of the game, ship repair speed and local shipbuilding time is really good. The Schwabing Circles, not bad. The Heliogolan, uh, question. And maybe we should increase uh, our relations with them and start, start lowering it. And we also get the Ruhr boom. We need organized factories. So for like 10 years, it's going to give us more population growth, factory output, and less factory cost. Oh, women's suffrage, who cares about that? But, uh, oh my god. Oh, hello. Um, you're not even close, so head on down here. Actually, are you? Plus, that's a... He's really good on attack. And our guy isn't really that good on attack either, huh? That's interesting. Head on over, boys. Head on over. France is going to die as a major power, I swear to God. Between us and the Italians, they're going to die, and then we're probably going to go to war with the Italians next, too. So, why? Because we can. Um, that's unfortunate that the, these French soldiers aren't very strong. Alright, Belgium is fully sieged down. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and send you over here. Uh, no, no, no. I think Italy's next. Yeah, we'll do Italy next. Why are the Ottoman Empire? No, they're out why is everyone allied to Britain? Seriously. I guess Italy is next, then. No. No. To hell with you, France. To hell with you. Where are they? I want their bodies. I'm going back to Paris. I'm burning it to the ground. Ah, look. Colonial corruption. The government must accept responsibility for its own shortcomings. The office is in the pocket of big industry and biggest industries to blame. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going over there. You're not getting away so easily. Le Mans? No, no. Also, we did ha we do have engineers on our soldiers, too, if you didn't know. Uh, ah, yes, another army. Good. Mm, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we got to start really... Well, there's so much tech we got to do, too. Also, I'm still trying to get more bureaucrats here, too, as well. Uh, probably it's not really smart getting bureaucrats, but hey, we're, we're improving it, so... Eventually, it'll be better and better, 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 so... Also, we did... For some reason, like, when I played as Austria, we started off as Austria, I finally got this as a core. Bregens. Bregens. So, yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. Yes. As it should be. Nice, that's too many guys over here. Oh, Kond. 
Full siege him down. France will be but a memory when I'm done with you. Oh man, I don't know. I just thought, like, can we create Burgundy from TNO? <laughs> I played that mod too much. Oh my goodness. Nope. I was still gonna go to China eventually. Oh, look at this. Are they attacking us? Where are they headed to? Melun? No, no, no. Oh, the Italians peace out of them. Look. Oh! Did they actually get Savoy? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, the Italians will demand like their territory back eventually, but I'm like, okay, well, they'll take more from me then. Oh, look at that, they have socialists as well. Oh, so good. So good. I don't want to do their socialists. Uh, yeah. Well, well, actually, you know what? It's probably best to peace out with them now, then. As much as I want to full siege them down. Ah, oh, the industry's really high. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to full siege them down. I, just because I want to be able to attack them later, because I want to actually take a lot of French territory as well. So, yeah. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. France will be but a memory in history books by the time I'm done with them. Alright, you're done? Good. Great. The rest is ours. Oh, are you missing? No, you're just sort of missing stuff here. And Paris will be ours. They will have a commune. After this, we will have to peace out and make some more money because right now it's not looking so good. At this point, I think I can cut down a little bit more on this. The tariffs are quite high, as you can see. Uh, we got to really start making some serious money here so we can do okay. I want to cut... Uh, taxes as well. Then again, we're going to go straight to... You guys are looking really bad. Uh, uh, go to war with the Italians soon after this. But i got to make sure that I save scum so we don't get too much more infamy. Um, ah, there's still an army there. This is a really messed up group here. Huh. Any spare armies? Head on over. You just head on here. Kill every last one of them off. Gaslight's very nice. <clears throat> and also we have a total population of what? Um, 90 million. Almost 90 million people in our lands. Ah, 3 to 1. What a great ratio. Okay, so you guys go there. Actually, where are they headed to next? We're all going there. So, it's going to be a party. No. Kill yourself, France. Literally kill yourself. Sorry, it just... It has to be what it has to be. So, other than that, these guys will be fine. We have so many armies that we don't have enough generals. Wow. That's really bad. Um, that's okay. I am burning this to the ground. They will never recover from this. I will show the world the might of, the, of Mega Germany. By taking out France and Belgium. Beautiful. Uh, actually, you guys go there, you guys go there, you guys go right there. Nice. You guys go right there, you guys go... Right there. Yeah, I just didn't have enough time to really go 1v the rest of the world with Mega Germany, yep. But, someday. Someday, I promise you that. Someday. If you're helping, if you want to put up a screwed head, I don't mind getting less militancy. That's good with us. Also, here are the uh, decisions I've taken so far are reforms. We've got a good school system, we've got low health care, we've got low minimum wage, we have all rights allowed for political rights. Uh, child labor has been restricted, but it's not illegal yet. We've got weighted universal, which is okay with me. Um, other than that, pretty much nothing else has really changed. We've got open borders, we've got free press, all the good stuff. Well, depending on your opinion, I guess. Uh, I, I, at this point, I don't, I don't care. The only people I kind of like are the Japanese, because we can like them. Oh, they're down here too. Nice. Um, should be so. Oh, we still have some area ups here too. That's fine. You're almost done, so. There you go. And you're done too. Awesome. Uh, come to there. There you go. Ooh, some of you guys are looking really bad. Just in case, I'm going to keep like one guy and we're done. And you head on over to... Liege. Come on. Oh, they just dropped that score, but that was 106. Now it's 54. Oh, that's so good. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Every month, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse for them. This is good. This is what I want to see. I hope it takes years for France to recover. If they recover. No. You're going to suffer the consequences, France. This is for Napoleon. 
Also, some comments. Um, someone asked, are we going to release minorities? Yeah, we basically did. But we're going to absorb a lot more minorities. We're going to absorb a ton of minorities where we're headed. Uh, let's get revolution and counter-revolution next. Uh, no. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe? We need social sciences. Mm, but we get another... Let's get that one first. Yeah, that's fine. Do that one first. Isn't it beautiful? This is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I wish you could take more states. I wish it wasn't such a high cost to take stuff here, but... Alas, it is. Alright, what's our score? Like, 38? It's still... That's way too high. That's way too high. No. <clears throat> Battle of New More. I'm sorry, I'm spending so much time killing the French off. I have no interest in down Africa down here. The Japanese are doing a great job. Uh, yeah, basically we're going to be make, making a lot of this land worthless. Actually. Oh, look at this. Zentrum's Partai, Kustisius, Abata Partai. Also, Communism has been founded. That was actually founded by Lombardy. And we have the Communist Party available. So... Oh, new one, residency, interventionism, laissez-faire, limited citizenship. Eh, these guys kind of suck. Uh, this one's not great. It's anti-military, too, so... There's Socialist Party. Uh, wait, where's the look? Oh! No! Okay, uh, maybe I reload it. The Communist Party's not been founded yet. Okay. When I did it earlier, the Communist Party was founded. Uh, where are you at? 14 is too high of a military score. Uh, an in, in industrial score. Give us one more month and we'll see what happens. Is 14 so good? Eh. Give it another month. Oh, now it's 6! Yay! Now it's two! Yeah, we really need to go to peace too. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll go to peace now. Why not? All I want was Valoni. They're 15th in the world. Beautiful. And since we're here, we're going to build some forts up. And we added to ourselves. And we got some more core culture back. And I'll see you very soon when we go to war with Italy. And now it is time for a little Italian adventure. Now we can actually probably take some the islands. That's just not too bad. They got some precious metals down there. There are mostly Italians and Catalans down there. Hmm. Or we take Sicily. Italian Sicily, because I guess the Brits have Malta, huh? Well, someday they won't own that. Um, what do we want? Actually, I don't even know what I want. Oh, the Greeks are allied to us, too. Uh, the next war will probably be against, after this... Oh, Russia! Yes, Russia. Because they broke their alliance with the UK, which looks great, 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 great. Um, just in case, so I don't forget, decreased relations. Ah, France is now a great power again because of the industry. It just popped back up so fast. Oh, but they're socialists now. Uh, well, the next war we go to war with them. Actually, I'm probably going to annex Flanders. Or I might just go to war with the Netherlands. I do want Zealand again. Because we did give them Limburg, but... That's on temporary loan. You know what? They're in islands. Oof. I do want that, though. Uh, but probably best to take something here. The, the border guard is going to get so bad. I apologize. Yeah, I'll probably take Emilia. Oh, a lot of iron is really nice to get. And sulfur? I think that's pretty good. Cool. Broke their alliance. Ah, and here we go. See, there we go. And we're ready to go right on in. Uh, Emilio Romagna. And who's going to call? Accepted. Japan and Greece. The only two people that actually like us. So, actually, because we're second, we're quite a ways away from the UK just because of their industrial score. We have a bigger military. Our army, our, our navy is nothing. Like, let's be real here. Our, our navy is nothing. Their navy is pretty good. They have 193 for soldiers and army while we're at 310. So even if they try to naval invade us, they would still die. No, I know this is a river crossing, so we're going to do that first. We're going to go that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're also going to go to Novara. And then go to Turin. And we'll go down to Massa. We're probably going to lose one of these armies along the way, probably, because there's going to be soldiers all around here. But oh well. Let's see what we can do. Or we'll just bushwhack them immediately. Okay. I don't think the Italians were expecting this, and this might just kill off their ability to be in the great power status. But hey, that's what we're here for. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah that's very nice. Very nice. I'm going to make every great power non-existent. Oh, hold on. They're attacking us. Look at that. Oh, it's good. Hang out. Ah, good. Uh, I don't even care if we're lower. Actually, let's take a look at him. Uh, so they have minus one for terrain. He's pretty good on attack. Our guy is pretty good on defense, though. He's pretty good on defense. Head on over here as well. That'd be nice. And go down there when you're done. You guys keep going over to there. That'd be nice. Nice will be good in hours very soon. Get attacked. Seriously. Uh, or just go ahead and attack them. There you go. Losing quite a few guys. Now that should be good enough for defense. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. But we're throwing another army in there as well. So that should be okay. We'll be fine right there. I'm not really worried about this war. Italy is not a major contender right now. So... Not really. Ah, yes, throw in your men. Hey, so for 16,000 Germans, we killed off 39,000 Italians. For 4,500 Germans, we've killed off 14,000 Italians. Where are they going? They're not, you're not you're, no, 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 you're not leaving. You're not leaving. God says you're not leaving. You're going to suffer the consequences of leaving us. 
Oh, you attacked us again? Ah, thank you, Italy. I appreciate it. I, hmm, I love it. Perugia? Cough up your territory. Ah, 3,000 more dead. Persia wants an alliance. No, we're okay. 25,000 Italians have died for 3,000 Germans. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and head on. Take you over here. Even though you could use another army, that's okay. I'm still building up another army. I'm building up more and more armies. Like nothing's, Nothing is going to stop us. I swear to God, nothing is going to stop us here. And I do apologize if I'm turning you off just because of how crazy I'm going. Honestly, I feel like I'm going crazy playing this. But just, it's a lot of fun. Another army! Now there, of course, there are only 3,000 stacked, but still. As there, oh, gee, I never knew that. Oh, I love shortcuts. Man, if you have recommendations for shortcuts or things that I should know about, especially if I play this whole bunch, please let me know in the comments below. I generally try to read all the comments. And actually, we got some more as well. Um, so, as earlier, someone recommended for us to cheat away all the infamy. I'm like, I could do that, but uh, I don't know. I don't like doing that, so. Um, Someone also asked, will I play Victoria 3 when it releases? You betcha. Actually, I'm trying to get early access to Victoria 3 whenever it comes out, so I'm trying to... I really am pushing for Victoria 3. That's the number one game on my, like, wish list right now. Um, let's see. Someone also says, I think I already addressed this, if you hover over, like, a colony... Obviously, we're trying to get bureaucrats here, but, um... Is this a colony? No, it's not. Well, let's go and give them some roses. So, imagine, like, this place was our colony. Or, nah. Uh... Oh, we'll do this one. Vietnam. So if you hover this, you can see how close you are to getting it to the point where you can make it a state. Right now it's 0.14. For bureaucrats, we need 1% of the population to be bureaucrats. Not allowed during war. So I kind of already knew that, but that's why I actually recorded this one off as well. I apologize for getting to the comments this late in the video, but yeah. I usually try to make sure I keep an eye on colonial stuff. But right now, like honestly, colonies don't matter to me too much. Just because when we do great wars in the end, near the end of the campaign... Or really near the middle to the end of the campaign. Um, we're, we're going to dismantle all enemy nations, especially the UK and Russia. So we'll get a lot of colonies that way. Obviously, we won't get everything we want. But at this point, I'm I'm taking whatever I want. <laughs> Actually, how much more do we need? Because I want to peace out with them as fast as possible. I don't have anything against Italy, really. I just want their lands. Oh, 90. Wow. Well, the <laughs> military score is 4, so... <laughs> uh, very nice. Ah, yes. Thank you for joining us once again. Ah. For 6,500 Germans, we've killed off 25,000 Italians. We'll go for Rome. Up uh, next is Siena. Follow them. Do not let them go away. You got more attack. You're pretty good on attack as well. Awesome, awesome. Ah. Uh, we're actually on defense this time. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, you guys can leave. There you go. I'm going to smash the crap out of the Prus uh, Prussians. Nope. Not the Prussians, but the Russians. Ah, uh, take Rome. Ah, for 3,100 more Germans, we killed off 26,000 Italians. I am, you know, people want to have genocide, but, like, I am basically committing genocide on a massive level here. <laughs> through through military battles. Of course, once Great War spawn, I mean, it's going to get really bad with gas attack. Ooh, I can't wait. Ah, there they go. Uh, I have nothing yet, so I, and we want to piece them out as fast as we possibly can. Just because I want to be able to do this, uh, go back to war with them as soon as we can. Because I we're gonna eat a lot of territory. Germany. My goal is to make Germany uh, have the country, have the Germans in our country become a minority in our own country. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are difficult. Words are hard. Um, we're so close to this one. We must. I must show you this one as well. All right. So we get another one here. That's nice. Social science should be next. Electricity would be really good. Steel roads. We could really use more money though. Like realistically. Uh, I really need to lower the tariffs and taxes, so... For now, we can lower this for now. We can lower this a little bit more as well. So, that'll be fine. Um, and I know some of you guys are probably going to scream at me and say, like, stop doing bureaucrats so much. I want bureaucrats here so badly. But, in exchange, we're going to go ahead and see if we can make some of these guys intellectuals. Actually, what is a... Last person doesn't have that much people compared to everyone else. Bohemia. 4%. Pretty good. East Galicia. Ooh, what is the bureaucracy like there in East Galicia? Oh, that's not good. You know what? We're going to go to Berlin. Uh, before we do that, I want to look at the population first. Was the AI even improving intellectuals? Somewhat 3.5% isn't too bad, actually. 3.6%. 3.9%. We already have a lot of intellectuals. Germany or Prussia must have been doing this a whole bunch. 3.4% is pretty good, too. 3.7%. The Rhineland. Ah, there you go. We can put it in the Rhineland. 
Get some intellectuals too. And what do we have here? German Indochina. With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, German administrators have advised elevating the region to a full department, clearly with eyes on expanding German colonial rule to their neighbors in Southeast Asia. Cambodia doesn't like that, but okay. Oh, wait, can we go to war? Oh. Huh. Can we just go straight to war with them, maybe? No, I think we have to wait for that, so. That's okay, and... Business ex Oh, we do need more money. I really want more money. We do got... We do need some of this stuff. Let's get organized factories, because we'll need that for one of the decisions. But up next is Russia. Now, we are able to go to war with the Russians. Now, obviously, this camp... This episode's not going to be super long in terms of in-game time. But they're allied with the Finns. They're actually allied with the Dutch, because the Dutch are now great power. Actually, let's take a look here. A great power status... I'm not seeing the French. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Actually, what, what's France up to? They're a secondary power. They're ranked ninth. Okay. Um, after doing with Russia here, hopefully they'll be... Mm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Russia's got a really good industry. Good amount of prestige. Pretty good military, too. So, we're 400. They're about 319. That's not bad. But, I don't know. There's always a debate about taking puppets versus taking land. I just want to take land. Because puppets... It's disappointing, Victoria, too. Because if your puppets become a great power, they're no longer your puppets. Which I absolutely do not like. Um, do we really want more poles here? Yes, because I got a lot of population. Every single one of these places has at least 161,000 places. They've got sulfur and just tons of coal here. Tons and con tons of coal. So, uh, what is this place called? West Galicia. We have got East Galicia. We do West Galicia, right? It only makes sense. I could uh, have them liberate um, Poland, but I don't know. We'll see. Japan will come in as well as Greece. Great. Hopefully we can do well here. Just go on in, everyone. We're going to need as many bodies as possible right now. And we got some engineers still being made, which is fine. Please, just go right on in. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to combine you guys together. Um, there you go. I'm not going to combine you guys together, though, just yet, because you guys got to go here. Hopefully we do pretty darn well. No guarantees, though, of course, but still. And we might have our lines a little bit open here. And also we can encourage the rear boom. The Ruhr area, formerly part of the counties of Berg, Mach, and Cleves, is changing day by day. Every day, new coal pits, mines, and shafts are opened up to supply the ever-expanding Prussian railway networks or Austrian railway networks, and lately supported by imports of British industrial technology. Factories are springing up like mushrooms after an autumn rain. The Ruhr is booming, and an example could easily spread to the rest of Germany, if only we're given a little nudge out the door. So, for about the ne next ten years, we'll get less factory owner costs, more population growth, more factory throughput, oh. And also, off-screen, I was able to get... Right before I started re-recording, acceptable healthcare. Mm, we went from low healthcare to acceptable healthcare. Oh yes. And of course, those guys have refused. They always refuse, which makes sense. Now, oh, and we are with War of the Dutch, which is why I put some armies here too. So, just in case, keep these guys nice and tight together, nice and close. Just in case, <sighs> healthcare. Ah, German universal healthcare. Nothing like it, my friends. Oh, I must have lost a lot of guys already. Oh, man. People are dropping like crazy. Uh, awesome, awesome. They started to mobilize, which is fine. Finland? I don't care about Finland. Um, as soon as we really get these guys under lock, I don't think they'll be able to do too much against us. The Dutch military. Oh, well, we lost about an equal amount. It's actually not too bad. Oh, to Warsaw, my friends. To Warsaw. Ah, yes. Very good. The first groups are being taken out. Yes, yes. Um, Balti. I want to keep these guys together as much as possible. So you guys go here. You just kind of hang out first. Uh, you guys are doing okay. We're making some money. Also, I have raised up tariffs once again. We need more money. Um, it's not easy being German. But we will be rich by the end of this, hopefully. I don't know. We'll probably do the goring strat of unlimited war until someone coups us. And again, you can't really get cooed in Victoria, too. Well, you get overthrown. Brest Litovsk. Beautiful. Oh, pretty good. Uh, no. Shame on you for even mentioning something like that. So you guys will go there, and then you will go right there. What's the war score like so far? 4%. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And we will be t getting taking war score very, very soon. Oh, you're done first. Very nice. You're done as well. Leave Autumn. Very good. Oh, hello! Oh, luxury clothes. We've not gotten them one yet. Okay, cool. Organization. Very nice, very nice. And who is this general? Please, please, please. 
Oh, he's very good on defense, but not attack, and we are good on defense-ish, somewhat. Um, anyone else not moving here? Yes, yes, yes. Grodno? Grod no? Very good. Please give me one second here. My apologies. My cat just wanted to get rushed out the door because he was hungry or something like that. So, whatever. Um, you know what? They leave. You know what? We're going to attack. Let's do it. Uh, actually, how good are we on attack with this general? Oh, he's okay. He's not great, but he's okay. He'll suffice for now. And we're doing a late classical theory for now. I think on... Why are we doing that one? Uh, more input, efficiency tech, maybe help off factories, just just a smidgen, not very much. They said they're mobilizing, and I kind of see it, but I don't see it fully. Oh, were they attack? Wow, Anton Vandere. He's pretty good on attack, but he's got bad terrain. He's crossing minus two. We're dug in, so he gets minus two. Albers von Hochen Hochenhausen. Holy crap! Wow, that is a defeat if I ever saw one going. Nice. Just as intended. Oh, Russia, Russia. You have to mobilize all your men, but you can't mobilize fast enough. I'll uh, go in there, too. I don't want to lose that battle. The letter campaign, if you want to read about that. Uh, you know, let's read that. So I ask you, sisters, right. To your, write to your congressman, your local MP, your grandmother, anyone, somebody. If the role will not come around to the message that women considered as political animals are equal to men in every relevant aspect, then the message will have to come around to it. The German suffragette movement has initiated a letter campaign with an ambi ambitious goal of reaching every MP with a thousand letters every year until female suffrage is passed and women are given the right to vote with no draft. The campaign has had a fair amount of effect already. Um, let's do that one. That's better. I'd rather more liberal, liberal of a house than anything else. What happened to the Dutch armies? Oh, we still have more guys down here that I'm making as well. Lothar von Hotzendorf. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, go to Kiev. That's a really good city to get. Come on. Oh, we actually won! Enforce the German curricula. Assimilation efforts in Danish areas and territories are progressing slower than they should reasonably have to. And one of the reasons is that Danish children are still educated in their native tongue. By enforcing all compliance to the national curriculum, we can force a new generation of children to identify more directly with the German state. Yes. We love assimilation here. Where are they going? I, 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 don't, want, I don't want to have to deal with this. Get in there. I want you to find them and kill every last one of them. Um, are, are, they sure, are, they sure, are they sure they don't want peace? I mean... Hi, Netherlands. We don't like you, so I'm going to actually lower my support with you. Um, peace relations, because we can. Would you like peace yet? 25? Um, can't have any war goals. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, we got enough money reserves for now, hopefully, to do whatever we need to do, so... Well, I mean... Do they, do they really want me to siege it? Because we can siege everything down. I and mean, that's not with me. Okay, so another one piece. Could we can go back to war with them soon enough? Now it looks really disgusting, but next up, next we'll go to war with Russia. We'll hopefully take Masovia. Awesome. Now, we've taken out a couple great powers here. We've beaten up the French a little bit. We've beaten up the Italians, unfortunately for them. And it is Italy's looking great, especially since we now have access to the uh, part of the Mediterranean over here. Now we've taken out the Russians a little bit, which has a little bit of a... Kind of a thick tip into the uh, homeland, but whatever. Um, it's time for the Danes to feel uh, the goodness that is the German military. Of course, they are allied to the British, but it is what it is. I'm not super concerned about it just because if we can at least siege these two areas down. Oh, I guess make that three, actually. Um, head on over there and then head on over here. Or just stay there just for now, just because they could technically naval invade us, whatever. Um, but I've already moved up some armies around here, so even if they invade a keel, it won't be a big deal. Also, obviously, we're losing a lot of money, just because things cost a lot of money, but as long as we start sieging stuff down, it won't really matter too much. I could raise tariffs, but I think we're okay. And we got some trench system, huh? Nice. Very nice. But as long as we keep it sieging down for now, that's all that really matters. So we should be getting some ticking war score uh, eventually, so. Uh, let's see. Yep. Daily change plus 0.075 is not very much, but... That's okay. Let's con let's. Uh, what is this? Everyday needs for poor strata. Workers unions do not have the profiteering that these fat cats. You mean you fired somebody? Nothing wrong with that. A factory in one of our states has become the target of a mild but costly sabotage campaign during the past few weeks, and local management suspects that a known socialist agitator in the area is responsible for its development. As a gentleman in question is known by management to have taken issue with the decision they recently took regarding company internal division of labor. 
Nothing wrong with firing somebody there. Um, Ulrich tried to lose militancy and stuff. Um, denounce the fat cats. Oh, you know what? Right now, we can get, like, all this stuff. They really want universal voting, which I don't want to give them yet. I really prefer this stuff. So what happens if we really piss them off? Can we do this yet? Of course, I don't want rebels or anything like that, but... You know... Uh, well, it doesn't look, look like they're going to do very much there. Uh, 10% universal voting. I mean, I don't really like that one. It gives you a lot of immigrant attraction, which is pretty nice. Oh, we got all three done. Nice, very good. Yeah, we're actually making some more money now. Up next, of course, I think the war... I think it's just best to get done with Flanders. Take him out, annex him. And then the next time we go to war with France, we'll actually take out France. And we'll keep recycling this. So we'll go to war with Flanders. Eventually, I want to take out the Netherlands as well, but... We gotta deal with this Polish stuff here, too. So right now, let's just kind of hang out. We're not losing that much money, even though we're not... Eh, well, we're taking on some debt. That's not good. Uh, a little bit more. Thank you very much. You can lower this just by a little bit more. Oh, we're fighting America, too. Well, that's not good. Why is America getting involved? Oh, and also the uh, Flemish... Well, they're looking pretty socialist here right now, so... Brussels is turning pretty bad. Slim pick Picketings. Suffragettes picketing a local bar in whatever provinces are becoming the laughingstock of the entire state. The sight of the two relatively frail upper-class women standing with their placards outside the bar, picketing for women suffrage and temperance, is not only being made into an object of ridicule, but is also causing some anger among the lower classes, who feel that the well-offs, the high and mighty, and the holier-than-thous are trying to patronize or matronize, as the case may be, them with sophistry and rhetoric. Oh, well, freedom of speech and all that. Uh, maybe they listen more to what these nice ladies are trying to explain to them. Very good. Uh, we're not really making... Oh, hello, Ottoman Empire. Wait. Demand concession casts belly against the Kingdom of Joseon, Korea. The Ottomans are expanding in Asia. I don't know how they got up there to begin with, but... My goodness. That is so weird. That is so weird, man. Um, I'm not really sure what they're trying to get out of this, because they're going to lose. They're going to lose, and they're going to look like idiots when they lose, so... Uh, I guess, you know what? I do, don't mind get, getting plus 25 for some more immigrant attractions, so... So be it. Whatever. And we might go from a semi-constitutional monarchy to basically... A constitutional one, maybe? So, we'll see. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess we could technically lower spending for now, even some more. Why is it so bad? Probably because of, uh, cost of everything, so. It's alright. Uh, we're taking a little bit more of a loan, that's fine, whatever. They're gonna try to bankrupt us. This is why I gotta destroy the UK later on. How much war score do we actually need for these guys? Um, so, I mean, eventually we'll get maxed out to King War Score. The blockades do suck, but... Uh, score over time, bonus plus 10%. So it's fulfilling 75% plus 10% daily. It's just going to go up. So they have to give it up. Actually, are they the war leaders? Acquire Jilin. War the Pyongyang concession. That is... Are we really going to see Ottoman Pyongyang? That is going to be absolutely wild to see. Absolutely nuts. So, uh, it's kind of sucks right now. But we're trying to get some more research done here. So I do just want to show you guys what we're up to. Or what we're doing. And the next war will be between us and probably the Flemish. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. So right now. Um, yeah, the war with Denmark costs quite a bit. Because we got continually got a blockade and stuff. So we got a lot of war exhaustion, which is really bad. But it's not a good war with Flanders. Because we can. Because why not? Um, but realistically, I mean, that's a good lesson for me. I, I'll be honest here. Uh, just learning that, well. If you have a lot of war exhaustion, it can really screw you up. So... It's not good to have a lot of war exhaustion, as we probably all can tell, but... I'm not too worried about this war. They have a score of 10 now for Flanders, so... Oh well, but this has been a very good lesson in... Learning to not neglect your navy, because neglecting your navy can be really bad, but... Honestly, they didn't even fight us here. Also! Oh, look at that. Wow, that was really quick. Um, I got an event off screen, in which we get... Uh, uh, these guys. So, I'm actually pretty happy about this. So, yeah, not too bad, actually. Really not too bad. We got some colonies, finally. Some more colonies. Technically, we could liberate these guys and uh, get more, get less infamy, but... Oh, well. But right now, I mean, we're looking pretty good. Next episode, we're going to start off probably going to war with France. I think France will be good. Um, I'm going to lower the war exhaustion. We'll go to war with probably France, Russia, Italy. Maybe even Romania, too. Or maybe even the Ottomans. Because uh, at this point, I don't want anyone to be really friends with us. Because I just want to destroy them after what they've did, done to us. But, uh... 
I guess we can end this by enacting women's suffrage. Is that a good thing? Yeah, we could lose at war exhaustion. So, the idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in the Western society throughout the 19th century. First adopted in the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill. The idea and all ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right, feminism. The experience during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's rights. Uh, to work, vote, and in other fields of society achieve legal equality with men. Is that a good thing? Well, that's your decision to make. But I believe that'll probably be it for us here today. Right, right now, we're trying to get more naval ports. Um, we need drilling and blasting machine tools because we got to build that keel canal. we got to get more money. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll figure out and how many more people we're going to add to our military or our country because now we have a total of 160 million people with us and a total of over 50 some oh maybe only half 50 percent but regards thanks for watching have a great rest of your day